Uh, committee meeting uh, this session uh, for the uh, Mental Health and Developmental Disabilities uh, Committee. I want to thank uh, uh, the other senators who are here this morning. We have uh, Senator uh, Felder, uh, who I think almost has perfect attendance, except for, except for me. <laughs> We're tied, I think, uh, for the committee. Uh, I think you're thinking about somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just like you? Yeah. Poor guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, I want to thank uh, the ranker, uh, Senator Hamilton, for being here as well. Thank you. Uh, before we get into the legislation, we do have uh, a number of uh, reappointments and new appointments to consider uh, before the committee. Uh, you should have at least a list of those uh, in front of you. Um, the committee will consider the following nominations. So the, I'm going to read off the slate of nominations. These are reappointments to the Behavioral Health Services Advisory Council. We'll vote on those or accept those as a group. Uh, and then I'll go read uh, the next slate, which is for the uh, Justice Center Advisory Council. Um, so for the uh, Behavioral Health Services Advisory Council, we have Maura Kelly, uh, Kun Suk Song Bernstein, Jennifer Havens, John Kasten, Florentino Hernandez, Euphema Strauchan Adams, Paul Samuels, Lawrence Brown, and is Bill Getman, he, Bill Getman's on that one as well. William Getman uh, as well. Um, these are all reappointments. None of them are present. Uh, did, did any of the members, uh, is there a motion to forward the nominations? Or are there any questions on the nominations? Uh, I'm motion to forward the nominations, but in the future, can we have them maybe come by and say hello to us? Well, there's certainly that's always uh, what is asked. Right. Uh, I don't think we, I mean, there's nothing we can do to compel them here. Right. We could hold nominations for people that, that don't show up. Right. Uh, I know that's been discussed. And, okay. and I would be, I, I, I have no objection to that, right. I, I suppose, unless there's a good excuse. Right. Uh, but that's certainly something the committee can uh, can consider in the future, that if they're not here, we won't move the nomination unless there's a good excuse or a good reason. Okay. Thank you. I think maybe this reason, in this regard, because they're all reappointments, right. the thought was they're already on, you know, that kind of a thing. But uh, your point is well made. Uh, so we have a motion for the nominations. Uh, is there a second? I'll make the motion a second. Uh, uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Is there any opposed to the nomination? No, okay. there's nomination forms that need to be signed by uh, the members. Okay. Um, this one is for the Justice Center. This is the one that you just did. Okay. And then this is the one you'll be doing second. Thank you. We're not allowed to continue? Yeah, we're not, well, not until you sign. Really? Uh, <laughs> okay, well. well. <laughs> um, the next uh, series of appointments will be to the Justice Center Advisory Council. Now, we do have uh, one of the, the new appointees here, uh, Kathy O'Keefe. So before I get into the whole slate, uh, if there's anyone that has any questions, I think have any questions uh, for uh, for Kathy. I do want to thank you for being here. Uh, I had a chance to uh, to meet her early this morning. Uh, she certainly brings, I think, a very qualified background and perspective from uh, from a, a state-run facility, uh, and she's got a, a long background in this work. So I think she brings a good perspective. But uh, I do appreciate you being here, and I think as you heard, Senator Hamilton certainly appreciates you being here as well. Uh, but I don't know if either of the senators have any questions for Kathy. I, I just uh, want to get to know you a little bit. You can just give a brief synopsis of sure. your background. Yeah. Okay. Um, I started in Kings Park Psych Center in the 80s, 1981. Mm -hmm. I spent 13 years in state ops, then I spent the next 14 in the non for profit world in mental health clinics, so right. partial hospitals. And I've been back in state ops since 2008. I was the director of ops of Pilgrim for a few years. In 2012, I became the executive director. 2014, they added Sagamore children, so I had both the adult and the kids. Um, um, I love public psychiatry. I love being a civil servant to take my job very seriously. I have um, worked very hard to Sorry, Harvey's not here. To uh, change the culture of Pilgrim to a person-centered, trauma-informed, um, no, no zero tolerance for abuse and neglect, um, but also have a great respect for the workforce and how hard the work is to 
do so. We do a lot of education and coaching, and so I'm happy to, to be here and add my voice to the Justice Center. And uh, I, I thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, psychiatry is an important field, and I know in pediatric psychiatry, you have less and less people going into the profession. I was just talking about that. Yeah, that is a crisis right now. It's a crisis, and I just hope that uh, this committee can find a way to uh, increase and entice people to, to get into this field. Uh, maybe it's wishing for parents or some type of incentive, because uh, uh, we have a shortage in the city, and, uh, and, this, and the suicide is increasing amongst our uh, youth in this country. Uh, so we, it's a, I think it's a crisis. Uh, you know, when you have six to 11 year olds, and 30 because of death of suicide. I don't know what, when I was between 6 and 11, I was, I was walking my door, flying a kite, looking, blessing on my mother with suicide. So something's happening in the field that needs to be addressed. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Senator Vogelman. No, thank you. But I also appreciate it. <coughs> All right, so if there's no other questions for uh, Ms. O'Keefe, then we will uh, consider the, the reappointment and new appointment of William Getman. Ronald well, Lehrer, but it's good. Congratulations. Okay, I said, Kevin, I'm sorry, you know. <laughs> you know, you know, you say that. So we have William Gemmon, Ronald Lehrer, Kathy O'Keefe, uh, Euphema uh, Strach and Adams, Harvey Rosenthal, and Peter Peary, all to the Justice Center Advisory Council. Do we have a motion to forward the nomination? I'm also to move the nomination. All right. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. All right. Now, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to That's a formality. Kathy, I do appreciate you being here. I know there are other members do as well. Um, I wish you a lot of luck in, in this role. Thank you. And, and if you, 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 don't have, you don't have to sit for the entire rest of the community, if you want to leave at this point, you, you certainly can. <coughs> if you want to stay, you can stay too. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you all. See you soon. Well, if you have any questions on the other appointments, you quit harassing me. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not harassing you. Yeah, well, I'll ask really, you that question. I'm not harassing you. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Uh, we will now uh, take up our uh, session before the committee. Uh, so, Joe, if you want to jump in uh, to the first bill. Senate Bill 256, sponsored by Senator Diaz. This legislation expands the existing geriatric mental health planning council's responsibilities to include substance abuse, chemical dependence, and compulsive gambling. A motion to move. Is there a second? Yes. All right. Uh, we have a first and a second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, is there any opposed? We do have Senator Seward is without right. Without right. Okay. The bill is moved. Senate Bill 4261, sponsored by Senator Espiat. This legislation will require OMH and SED to develop materials regarding the prevention of suicide for use by educators. Motion to move the bill. I'll second. All those in favor? Mm -hmm. Aye. Aye. Any, any opposed? No. All right, the bill is moved. Senate Bill 4981, sponsored by Senator Orb at the request of the Justice Center. This legislation cl clarifies that the Justice Center has concurrent authority with the DA to prosecute appropriate cases of neglect and abuse. Motion to move the bill. I'll make the second. Uh, all those in favor? Uh, aye. Gene? No. No. Everything's good. Everything's good. All right. The bill is moved. Senate Bill 5154C, sponsored by Senator D. Francisco, provides that a guardian of an incapacitated elder shall contact relatives of an incapacitated adult or elder who is in a medical facility for acute care for more than three days or upon the individual's death. Motion to move the bill. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed you? No, all yeses. All yeses, sorry. Bill is moved. Senate Bill 6010, sponsored by Senator Lanza. This legislation requires that all state and private agencies dealing with those individuals falling under the jurisdiction of the Justice Center report incidents of injury to 911, the DA's office, and the vulnerable persons to central register. I think I should move the bill. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed you? I have several um, without rec, Senator. Okay. I have Senator Carlucci, Senator Murphy, Senator Serino, Senator Hamilton, and Senator Cooper without rec. Okay. The bill is moved. 
Sample 7410, sponsored by Senator Carlucci at the request of OPWDD. This legislation would allow OPWDD to access the criminal history information contained and held by DCJS for background checks. Uh, a motion to move the bill. A second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Jeannie, any opposed? No. Senator Hamilton and Senator Cooper without rec. No. Okay. The bill is moved. Senate Bill 7414, sponsored by Senator Carlucci at the request of OPWDD. This legislation adds additional service providers to the list of those required to check the staff exclusion list prior to hiring. Motion to move the bill. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Jeannie, any opposed? Everyone's yes. All right. Bill is moved. Senate Bill 7584, sponsored by Senator Hort. This legislation would authorize the Justice Center to visit, inspect, or appraise residential schools outside of New York State, serving New York State residents. Motion to move the bill. Motion to second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Senator Murphy without rep. Okay. Bill is moved. Senate Bill 7627, sponsored by Senator Orth. This legislation provides that notice of significant reductions at state operated hospitals must be at least 12 months and not more than 13 months prior to commencing such service reductions. Motion to move the bill. Motion is seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Everyone's yes. All right, the bill is moved. Senate Bill 7644, sponsored by Senator Ort. This legislation creates a transformation panel under the mental hygiene law. Motion to move the bill. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor? Aye. Gene? Everyone's yes. All right, bill is moved. Senate Bill 7678, sponsored by Senator Ort. This legislation would ensure that reimbursement by OPWDD for transportation to and from licensed day have sites is based on certified financial information from last year and is reimbursed in equal monthly payments. Motion to move the bill. Motion is second. All those in favor? Aye. Everyone's yes. All right, the bill is moved. Senate Bill 7794, sponsored by Senator Klein. This legislation expands the diagnosis of a sex offender, making them eligible for civil confinement. I'd like to motion to move the bill. Second. Motion and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Senator Hamilton, Senator Cooper, without rec. Okay. Uh, Senate, uh, the bill is moved. Senate Bill 7804, sponsored by Senator Gallivan. This legislation would add siblings to the list of individuals entitled to request access to clinical records. Motion to move the bill. Second. I have a question. Yes, yeah, yeah. quickly. What, what, can you explain that again? Sure. Uh, yes. Under current law, there's uh, delineation of certain individuals with access to, to clinical records. This will add a sibling um, to be, have the same access as a spouse or a child. Uh, in, in, in any case? Yes. With the consent or without the consent of uh, the person I'm looking at? For the sibling I'm looking at? That's case. right. I, I believe it's post. It's actually, yeah, yeah, I believe it's like post. post. In, oh, 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 okay, I got you. So you want to get it. Not just to walk in and get it. Right. Thank you. This is if you're not here, or if the individual's not here. You don't have to smile when you say <laughs> that. <laughs> it was always in my eyes, Senator you know what I mean? It's, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so the, uh, on the bill, also, Senator Fellers, question is, is there a motion to move it? Motion to move the bill. All right, second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Everyone's a yes. All right, the bill is moved. Senate Bill 7, oh, go ahead, Joe. For Senate Bill 782, sponsored by Senator Carlucci, I would ask the Comptroller to enter into a contract with the Administrator of the State's 529 plan for the purpose of administering the New York ABLE savings accounts. Motion to move the bill. Uh, second. I have a question though. Yep. What is the actual, is it a savings account for what? Is a tax deferred or? It's, it's a savings account uh, aimed to help individuals uh, pay individuals with the rest of the issues paid for their health care. This was a Carlucci Phillips chapter, I believe, last year. Mm -hmm. um, this would go and implement and allow the 529 plan to be the uh, administrator for the program to get up and running. It's almost like, like, a, like a college yeah, 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 the, the, uh, the, uh, the ABLE savings accounts will be similar to uh, 529A college savings plans um, since many of the individuals who have developmental disabilities won't move on to college. Right. Um, their families can save for them for their future in the same way that um, you might save for your child for college. Is it for like job training? Is it for housing? I mean, what? It, it, it's any anything that they might require in their life. It, it's for long-term care. Oh, long-term care. Okay. Okay. I got you. All right. Thank you. And this is actually, if I'm correct, I'm wrong. This is while while it's getting up and running, because the federal government has not come up with this would create a almost like an administrative uh, ability until the federal government catches up. And this is uh, this is our line across across the state. Process. It's relatively new in the country, so uh, many states are still trying to figure out the exact uh, administration process for it. I got you. 
So it's kind of bridging the gap. Bridging the gap. All right. Uh, is there a motion to move the bill? I think there's a motion to be a second. All those in favor? Aye. That was a yes. The bill is moved. That concludes uh, this uh, meeting of the Senate uh, Standing Committee on Mental Health and Development Disabilities. I want to thank Senator Hamilton uh, for this session uh, as the ranker. Uh, we did a very good job. Uh, I want to thank Senator Feller for his uh, perfect attendance. Uh, and for his comic relief. And I certainly want to thank the staff uh, who are here because uh, all of you do a lot of hard work as well. And uh, thank you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I just want to say thank everybody who came to the Mental Health uh, Reflections of Hope Awards. We had one in the city. Oh, yeah? Uh, we had the first lady, Sean McCray, come. Okay. President John Jay College, the borough president of Manhattan. Uh, and we honored uh, like 18 mental health providers. That's great. Right. Yeah. So hopefully next time we can bridge it and come down Absolutely. to the city or bring it to the Send that invite. Definitely. I'll stay at your house. We'll go down there and we'll go down there. Right? So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> take around my book. That's Absolutely. Right. <laughs> See, I'm already in there. Exactly. Do I have to give them this? Take up an adult and